My name is Abena, and today we're going to talk about another ancestor named Kwame Nkrumah. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And without further ado, let's get started. So, Kwame Nkrumah lived from 1909 to 1972. The African continent once had many strong and powerful nations. But in the 15th century, Dutch, French, and other Europeans took over many African countries. For over 400 years, Africans were forced to live under foreign rule. Throughout Africa, people were denied rights as citizens in their own land. Kwame Nkrumah spent most of his life fighting to bring independence to his country. Born in the western province of the Gold Coast, Kwame Nkrumah was educated in the United States and England. He was active in organizations that fought for reform in his country. He became prime minister in 1952. In 1957, the Gold Coast became the first African nation in Africa to regain its independence. Ghana was chosen as its official name. Other African nations looked to Kwame Nkrumah for guidance in their struggle for independence. They knew he believed Africa must unite. And Kwame Nkrumah became president in 1960. That's five big words that were in this whole description about Kwame Nkrumah. So let's learn what they mean. Denied is to say something that is not true or to refuse to give or grant. Independence is freedom from the control of another or others. Province is one of the divisions of some countries. And a prime minister is the leader of a governing group of ministers. And reform is to correct or improve. Now, to get your mind moving, we are going to do this activity. What you need is one index card one red crayon, one green crayon, one yellow crayon, and one black crayon. If you don't have a black crayon, you can use a gray crayon. If you don't have neither of those, you can use your pencil. You also need tape. And of course, your pencil. So, using the one index card with your pencil, draw two lines like this. Now, write a star between the two lines like this. Next, color the star black. Star black. The top rectangle red here. Middle rectangle, yellow, the middle. And the bottom rectangle, green. And then 
tape the flag onto your pencil. So we're going to use tape. There you have it, your very own Ghanaian flag for your pencil. Now, we are going to do a quiz about this ancestor, Kwame Nkrumah. Number one is when did the Gold Coast gain independence? Is it A, 1960, B, 1952, or C? 1957. If you guess C, then you are correct. The Gold Coast gained independence in 1957. Number two, what is the Gold Coast's official name? Was it A, Gold Coast, B, Ghana, or C, Accra? Now we know C is wrong because Accra was the capital of the Gold Coast. So B is Ghana. The Gold Coast's official name was Ghana. Number three, where was Kwame Nkrumah educated? Was it A, the United States and England, B, Ghana, or C, Canada. Now we know that it cannot be C again because it didn't say in the description about Kwame Nkrumah that he was educated in Canada, so it has to be A, the United States and England. If you guessed it, then you were correct. He was educated in the United States and England. A. I hope you've learned a lot because. You might bring up Kwame Nkrumah and you might talk about it for a little while in your class or with your family at home. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. And I will see you on the next video. Bye!